What's going on all of you fantastic freelancers? If you weren't in shock and awe at the sight of the new trailer, I don't know who you are. But as far as who I am, my name is William and uh, I just really don't know what to say. First of all, I have goosebumps and adrenaline going. I, I kid you not, I was lightheaded halfway through the trailer, but I've recovered and in this video we're going to break down just what we witnessed, my initial impressions, and the real state of Anthem's story. As Casey Hudson, Bioware's general manager, said at the awards show, they have been pretty hush-hush about Anthem's story, but this trailer gave us a deeper look into the state of the Anthem universe. In the first scene, we have a ranger javelin, badly injured, but we will see him again towards towards the end of the trailer. I'm assuming the voice we're hearing is Yaro, one of the oldest living freelancers, albeit retired. As he puts it, he has seen the power of the Anthem destroy entire civilizations, and as of right now, the only two civilizations we have been made aware of is Fort Tarsus, the home of the freelancers, and the capital of Stralheim in the north, which is home to the Dominion. I suppose there is a reason for this, seeing as the Anthem has apparently wiped out entire civilizations in Yaro's time. We again see a statue of a sword-wielding ranger Javelin. We saw a similar statue previously in the Interceptor Paris Games Week footage last month, and while I doubt someone just built this statue out in the world, perhaps we're looking at the aftermath of the Anthem going off, perhaps one of those civilizations we previously mentioned. Our next scene is with our crew featuring Halleck, Faye, and Owen. It's in this scene where Halleck mentions something called the Heart of Rage. Perhaps it's an artifact, a creation of the Anthem, or worse yet, what forced the Shapers away from the planet. Either way, Halleck seems to know what the Heart of Rage is and what it can do to a person, and perhaps that's what the Monitor is seeking out in order to control the Anthem. More on that later on in the video. Following that scene, we have Faye sitting inside of one of the Cypher's amplification chairs, which, as the name implies, enhances the reach of their telepathic abilities. Apparently, there is a new power in the world that is calling out to her. Is this something all ciphers can sense, or only ones that are expertly trained like Faye? Perhaps this new power is the heart of rage that Halleck alludes to. Either way, take this audio clip from the official 2018 cinematic trailer where Faye says, Something is out there. It wants to destroy us all. That definitely sounds ominous. Next up, we see the various mechanics suiting up freelancers for deployment, where Yarrow continues to narrate, saying that humanity struggled just to survive before the development of the Javelins. Also, that is an awesome-looking colossus, if I ever did say so myself. Slowing down the trailer, we can see a ranger dodging a wyvern in midair and perhaps a water titan emerging from some sort of pool. If not a water titan, then some sort of monster. The last titan variant we saw is the only one we know of to date, which is known as the Ash Titan. A frame later, we can see one of those Ash Titans going down. The next scene shows that water titan slash monster emerging and attempting to take out our ranger friend. A few frames later, we have a ranger taking down what appears to be an Ursix, one of Anthem's beasts. In the next scene, over we have an absolutely gorgeous view of Fort Tarsus. Now, this must either be a past Fort Tarsus, a new paint job on the fortress, or potentially a new fortress altogether. Either way, it is absolutely stunning and one of the best images in the entire trailer. Next up, Yaro mentions that the walls have been humanity's protection for generations, families and loved ones included. In the next shot over, we have Agent Tassin with one of her sentinels and, admittedly, I may have just found my new bay. Now, this is where the trailer starts getting interesting. I'm willing to bet that this is some sort of shaper relic or possibly a fortress. Either way, notice the cannons. My initial thoughts are, well, are they conduits that can fire the raw power of the Anthem? Our next scene over depicts possibly one of the civilization Yaros mentions before that was totally destroyed by the Anthem. There is either scorching or something going on here, and I believe that's a shaper relic acting as a halo, but I'm not 100% sure. This next scene gets me though. Yaro is mentioning how the walls can only do so much. There are heavy turrets firing down on what appear to be striders from below their perch on the red-colored Fort Tarsus we saw earlier. Last I checked, freelancers were the only group that used the striders, and there appear to be some sort of heavily armed and armored variants in there as well. I wonder what's going on here. Lastly, we round back off to our downed ranger where the voice of the monitor can be heard as he walks beside our downed friend who says, But with the power of the anthem at my fingertips, I will end all this needless suffering. 
needless suffering. It looks like we may have a case of a villain who is almost a Thanos-like guy. With a snap of his fingers, he can end all the senseless violence of Mirus and bring the world into perfect harmony. In this scene, we also get a shadowy glimpse of a few members of the Dominion. But screw that, my theory was just potentially proven in this cinematic. Notice that mutant to the monitor's left, or right. His right arm is littered with seal technology and features a Javelin Storm's mask. Behind some sort of vault, we can see a much larger and much more enhanced version of one of these mutants, taking down a whole squadron of Ranger Javelins, where one seems to be carrying off a child. Excellent catch by one of my good buddies Grimslinger on the child. In my previous video, I mentioned how the Dominion appear to be dipping their hands into mutation, not just in domination. My theory is, could the Heart of Rage be the catalyst, or what affords them the ability to control the Anthem? and bring to life these monsters. I'll leave a card for you all to check out that video if you so desire. In that video, we discuss the Dominion, the Monitor, their background, and what threat they really pose to us in the world of Anthem. But what did you all think about this absolutely stunning trailer? Thoughts on Anthem's story? Leave a comment below to let us know your thoughts, and if you enjoy what we are doing here and want more regular updates on your game, Anthem, then consider leaving a like and subscribing to the channel. As ever, a very special thank you to my patrons for their generous donations and support. And lastly, as always, I hope all of you fantastic freelancers have a phenomenal day, and I'm looking forward to seeing you all in the next video very soon. Before this video ends, I'm just going to let the entire trailer play out, but until next time, freelancers, peace out. I have seen the power of the Anthem destroy entire civilizations. You have no idea what the Heart of Rage can do to that person. I feel a new power in the world. It's calling me. For generations, our people struggle just to survive. Let's go. The javelins allowed us to fight back the chaos. And the walls protected our families. Loved ones. Remember, we're a team. I'm right there with you. It's a freelancer job. Always has been. But the anthem still rages. And walls can only do so much. But with the power of the anthem at my fingertips, I will end all this needless suffering. Run!